Hey guys, Online Tech Guy here, and we are back with more Hellblade Cinema's Sacrifice, where we left off. We got across the bridge, and. Yeah, we kind of got our ass handed to us by Helena. Or Hella. I don't remember. I'm horrible with name, guys. I've names, guys. I've already said this. I'm not dead. This is good. I am not dead. I'm not stopping. I told you it was to trick you. I told you. Where are you going? This way. There's nothing to find. Come on. Go. I don't know how hurt you are, but go. Before she first met him, she was not in a good place. Just a teenager, but not like the others. Barely functioning, she rarely left the house. Her father's in bell made sure of that. Only occasionally did she venture out on her own, collecting firewood and herbs. Errands out in the Orkney Plains. That was her world. Like this one. Barren. And lonely. Are we getting stronger? It's already disappeared. Nothing lives here, not even you. Yes. It's in your mind. You think you can see it, but it's in your mind. Well, I'm gonna chase what's in my mind, because that's all I've got left. There he was. I'm not stopping. There's a ladder over there. Do I need to take it or can I just go up here? They're probably going to send me back down the ladder. Because that's what this game likes to do. The Northmen tell of a great hero. His name is Sigmund. His father's hall was built around a great tree, and one day, Odin comes and thrusts a sword into the tree, a gift to whomever can release it. Many try, but the sword only comes out at Sigmund's touch. His brother-in-law, King Sigir, wants it, but Sigmund refuses him, so King Sigir plots revenge. He invites Sigmund and his brothers to a feast, but when they arrive, they are met with an army, not a warm welcome. King Sigir captures Sigmund and his brothers, steals his coveted sword, and readies them for execution. I doubt the gods are very happy about that. Okay, now what? Can I not focus on the door to open it? Are you denied to me, door? Yep, that door is no go. Let's go to the end of the bridge that has no where to go on it. Why not? Uh. 
Oh, I didn't see the hole. Let's go down the hole. The hole is your friend. Always find the hole. Always. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, talking to the voices in my own head. Down the ladder we go. Drop in frame rate we go for whatever reason it wanted to do that. There's a hole over here. I've seen it. I've seen it with my own two eyeballs. You telling me I can't go through that grating? Now what? Where am I supposed to go, game? You're supposed to give me some idea. I came down here to go this way. can't go that way that way is closed that way is too loud what am I doing I don't understand I wish I understood. Oh, I guess I'm supposed to go over there. I guess that makes a little bit of sense, but not a lot of sense. Oh well, we figured it out. It only took way longer than it needed to. Let's go running! Running! So yeah guys, how you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are doing great. I'm doing great. Or good enough, anyway. Back down the ladder we go. Come on, Cinema. Let's go. Hi, frame rate drop. And it's back. Let's go that way, then. Because why not, right? 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 This isn't the way we came, is it? Maybe it's another sword? Maybe it's a magical sword. Maybe it's that one guy's sword. Can I go this way? No. Onwards! Day after day, watching from afar, she mimicked him. Perfecting her own secret dance. Wishing those fleeting moments of light would stretch out to last forever. Death for Sigmund and his brother seems certain. But the king's wife is Sigmund's sister, and she begs for mercy and implores the king to chain them up instead. sends a servant with honey to smear on Sigmund's face. But to what end? Well, that night, when the she-wolf appears again, you'll never guess what happens. Okay, we missed a little bit of the words of that story, but they were on the bottom of the screen, so... Sorry. 
I'm chasing you, Dillion. <laughs> Dillion! Bright light. Oh, it's all pretty. Okay. You're mighty pale in the face and neck. Daughter. I have to go. Wait. Who taught you to fight like that? No one. <laughs> no one? Well, I I watched you. And <laughs> you learnt all of that from watching me? <laughs> you should become a warrior, you know. Me? Why not? I'm Dilly. I'm here for the warrior trials. Come and watch. And bring your sword. You can't put it into words. That moment when uh -oh. you look into the eyes of the one who's supposed to reassure you, make you feel safe. It only takes an instant. Fear swallows you before you have a chance to make sense of it. And darkness becomes a part of who you are. But her world changed the day the Northmen took him from her. Senwa knows that there's no going back to how things were. That there's nothing to go back to at all. Stay still, stay quiet, hide, don't tell her. Their gods can see into your mind. They will use this power to destroy you. They won't stop me. I can still feel him. Whatever's left of him. They will never let him go. I'm not gonna let him rot here! You're the one rotting here. Leave me alone. You will die here. No! And all your suffering will have been for nothing! Shut up! This is a thing that won't work yet, apparently. Okay, we'll keep going. God, this game's pretty. You see how pretty this game is, guys? Do you see it? What is this? Take, take it. Sword. A sword. Take it. Take A sword. It. Take 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 it. Grab it. What's happening? 
happening? Senua, imagine a sword that can slay gods. <laughs> Ooh. Its name is Gramra. It was forged by the god of all Northmen, Odin, and gifted to Sigmund, a great warrior. I need this sword. It's important. Can you help me? The sword appears whole, but it is an illusion. It shattered into shards long ago. It is said a great warrior can reforge Gramra by answering the trials of Odin, one for each shard. The roots of the Tree of Death will take you to new lands where you will face the trials. Okay. This is a shard. It's great big and blue and glowing. Do a king in the north forced the dwarves to make a sword that would never fail and never rust and that would slice through iron and stone and bring victory to its bearer. But the angry dwarves cursed it. It would be the death of a man every time it was drawn. And it would be the death of the king. Let me tell you about the sword Tyrving. Tyrving? I don't recognize this place. Where are we? Where is she? It feels wrong. Where are we now? Burial mound. So strange that we go to such lengths to bury death. Something so very ordinary, inevitable. It's as if we conspire to hide death because we have no answer for it. But when it comes and forces itself onto our friends or loved ones. Then comes the reckoning. Senua, you remind me of a story that the Northmen tell about a young woman warrior. Her name is Hervor, the daughter of a berserker born after he was killed. She's a wild, willful child who teaches herself to fight with weapons. When she learns where her father is buried, her only desire is to reclaim the treasure buried with him, but above all, the sword. Tirvin. Okay. We've already listened to that part of the story. Let's go the other way then. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. I've been talking a lot today, so my voice is getting a little tired. Just a smidge. There must be something over here. There must be. I just hit a save point. Something's about to happen. Go in. You have to go in. Take the torch. It's too dark. Take it. Okay. This will help you. Careful. You have to be able to see. Yes, have to be able to see. Who's there? Whatever it is, I'm going blindly forward into it. Dillian, I'm here. I'm here for the trials. Like when we first met, remember? Him. What's wrong? What happened? Can you hear me? Just wait there. I'll find you. You have to find him. This is your mission. Find him. You have to use everything you have and find him. Get him back. He was just there. How could you lose him? How could she lose him? How could she find him? We will. Jeez, voices in my head. Chill.
I don't understand. There's two doors. And a torch. Okay, now what? Oh, there's a door. There's a oh, duh. This is the way I came, though. Is there a torch scone sconch thing that I can light? Alright, I got the torch. We go inside. Now we go this way. Thank you. Must not touch the walls. You don't know what they play to. Turn back. She has to keep going. It's not safe here. She has to keep going. If you go down there, no one can save you. It's too scary. Well, we're going down there. I can hear him. Hera disguises herself as a man to join a band of warriors. And soon becomes their leader. When they come to the island where her father is buried, her men do not want to go ashore. They say that evil haunts the island, and that it is a worse place by day than other places are by night. Fearless, she lands alone. There are many grave mounds, and all of them have ghostly flames burning over them. She comes to the grave mound of her father after passing through these ghostly fires as though they were mist. Flames I passed through were real enough. Down the Northman to hell. Alright, do you wanted to make sure we didn't miss the story? You have to use your mind. Where can you go? You're failing. Find a think. 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 Focus. I get it. We're in a repeating maze puzzle. I thought that was supposed to hold it too. <sighs> what am I doing wrong? I'm doing something wrong. I go to the double shield. The double V shield. That's a red. That's a green. That's a red. That's nothing. Left to right. See what left does. That's the red. So now we'll go this way. Now there's nothing. Huh. 
They did a really good job with the fire on this, by the way. They really did. All right, let's keep going. Enough staring at the physics, as awesome as they are. Within the burial mine, Herva calls on her father to wake from death and bring her his sword. She says that it is not seemly for the dead in their grave mines to bear valuable weapons. Her father answers with words of warning. You go to your doom. Baleful runes surround you. You have gone mad. You have lost your mind. Your thoughts are confused. It is dangerous to wake the dead. Like I said, she reminds me of you. <laughs> I don't know what's in there. Okay. I was here already. That's the red shield. The signs on the walls are constantly changing. Okay, that way's blocked, but I can walk this way. But I've already been this way. Yes, I've been here. This is a dead end. That is a dead end. Therefore, I have to go this way. Red curvy shield. He seems like he's getting louder as textures pop in. Well, this is different. Quiet. He wants me to find him. I'm lost without him. That voice. It's not Dillian. Well, who is it? <laughs> this way seems right. And by right, I mean terrifying. I'm gonna let this video go a little bit long because I don't wanna... I don't wanna be three quarters of the way through the maze and then have to start all... Oh. Okay, let's go in the angry room. Dillian wants me to face my fears. Okay, that was an angry room of nothing. Good to know. Senua. Who whispers my name? Sure. I hear angry growly noises. In my ears, and I don't like them. Is this openable? It is. Father? 
I'm leaving. I've decided. I think it will be good for me. It's the darkness. It's speaking through No, Dad, it's me. I think I can beat it. In my own way. I can see the darkness in your eyes, child. I met a boy. Boy? The chief no. He said he could help me. It's a trick. He said I could be normal. Normal? Yes. No boy is going to save you. No one can. When they see the rot growing no. inside you! No! They will turn their back on you! The gods can only fix you through my hand! You're going nowhere. No. You will not defy the gods! Come, child, take my hand. Come. Send one. No! I am leaving! You cannot escape the darkness. Your curse will make everyone suffer. You will have blood on your hands! Cool, we have done a shard. How many more we got? You did it, but there's more. Keep going. There's more. Yes, there's more, but that's gonna have to wait there's to another still. video because we are out of time again. It's not going to be easy. So this has been Online Tech Guy. Hopefully you guys are enjoying Hellblade, Sinewa's Sacrifice, and I will see you guys in the next video. Later.